of The Coming of the Moon by Todd Lieben. It is reversed. You cannot see it. However, you can see over here that I have one of my stories. Well, it's a poem. Now, this is of The Coming of the Moon. That was published in 2021. So it just hit its two year. And there's a lot in here. And I'm very happy with Of the Coming of the Moon. So the first poem, the first item in Of the Coming of the Moon is 13 Nights of Halloween. <sighs> so I'm going to read that one for you. To start off, the Of the Coming of the Moon uh, readathon, YouTube uploads, reels, I don't know. What do you want to call it? Okay. 13 Nights of Halloween. Everything in the book is going to be marked as by Todd Lieben, even if some of it's less triggering than others. There are 13 nights throughout the year that scare the ghouls and goblins. No. Did I just read that wrong? There are many nights throughout the year that scare the ghouls and goblins near, such as Friday the 13th brings its fear, but nothing beats the 13 days before and after Halloween. The fright of seeing costumes and decorations filled with concerning phrases and items triggering are hard to ignore since they're everywhere, but I believe in you and your ability to survive these nights and many more. It's just a holiday that makes us frightened, so enjoy as much as you desire as desired, and move on when time ends. Halloween is just for fun and nothing more. Putting this one in the first position of the book is actually very important. It is reminding you that there are concerns, expected concerns, because this is Halloween, and Halloween is marked as your horror holiday. Although I tend to go less horrific than many people with their Halloweens. I mean, there, there's spook, there's a level of horror in my work in general. Um, I'm shocked by it, considering I absolutely hate horror as a genre. Yet I end up fitting there far too often. So the 13 Nights of Halloween is to remind you that there is possible concerns in this book just because the Halloween uh, myths that it belongs to, the the connections that it belongs to, you should expect that. All right. So if you can't handle the Halloween holiday, I would highly suggest not picking up this book. Why would you even look at it? I don't know. If you don't want to go for the more horrific version of the holiday, my book does fit the drill. Most of the stuff is not very triggering. If I go down to the bottom, I have triggers posted for everything. My mouse is poor. So I have po triggers posted for everything, but as you can see that some of them are N-A. N-A means not applicable. That means it would actually be a Cat Hartley Bay. And some in here I wouldn't necessarily mark as triggering in general. However, like the religious undertones, Angel, um, these... Are, I'm putting out everything that could possibly be a trigger. I went really in-depth. I was aiming to get trigger marks on all of them. I didn't need to. And since this is the ebook, I can just clicky the button and go right back to where I was. Oh, my That's because I have hyperlinks set up in my ebook. You can't do that in the physical copy. I can go to the back page where I have triggers and then I would have to go all the way back to the front where I have the poem. So I am going to hopefully do more of these. Perhaps not in my given situation. It's not the best. But I hope you enjoy my chaotic reading of Of the Coming of the Moon by Todd Lieben to celebrate the coming holiday and the, and the season that we are now in.
I should start with some of the ones that are more fall-like. Stuff that can totally fit for any time during the season. Whereas some of them are definitely more Halloween-ish. Some lean towards mythology. But for the most part, it is my work. I fit here. I fit in this zone. Twisted fairy tales, I figured out. That's where I belong. All right. Cat Hartley Bay, signing out. Or Todd Levin, sign out, because technically I'm Todd Levin here.